a few tutorials ago, I went over using the QCAT, which is a device that you can buy uh, to scan barcodes. It's not the only way to scan barcodes into your computer, uh, but uh, in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use other devices and other ways of scanning barcodes into your computer and getting information out of them. But today we're gonna be looking at creating barcodes, both a standard barcode and 2D barcodes. So let's start off, I'm going to show you, there is a uh, application in the repositories if you're running a uh, Debian-based system, you can use Aptitude. Other than that, use whatever uh, uh, package manager you would like uh, or apt-get. Um, and we're gonna just search real quick for barcode. And in our list here, you'll see an application called barcode, and that's the first we're gonna use. And uh, it's a uh, utility and library for barcode generation. And as you can see, up to tells me there's an I, so I already have it installed. But if you don't, go ahead and install it, once again, using whatever package manager you like. Um, and now this is how it works. We're going to say barcode, which is the name of the application, um, dash B, and then our text or numbers, either or, that we want to generate into a barcode. So we're going to, then in quotations, say, this is my first barcode. Close the quotations. And then we need to set an output file, so we'll dash O, and it's this program uh, exports it to a postscript file, which is uh, similar to a PDF, um, although it can easily be converted to a JPEG or PNG, whatever format afterwards. Uh, but we'll just say um, first.ps for postscript. We'll hit enter. And I can just use display or uh, any other application that displays P uh, PostScript files and the name of the file. And you'll see here, it's a little bit out of your view, but we have a barcode. By default, it puts it on a full page uh, piece of paper. Uh, there are options in the application to change the size of the barcode and the size of the page. You can see right here that um, I obviously typed something wrong. I took MT, but it puts the words you typed underneath here, and then it puts the barcode here. Now there are other options, and that's a basic little uh, barcode there. Um, but what are more fun uh, are 2D barcodes. So that's all I'm gonna show on the barcode application there. There are uh, a lot of other features, like I said, resizing the barcode, and it does different um, uh, formats, different, uh, different barcode codes. I'm um, forgetting the exact uh, word here. Actually, let me do uh, barcode help and um, the encodings. So you can see it does a lot of different encodings. Uh, I'm not even sure which one it does by default. Uh, but that's a very quick and uh, more of this tutorial. I just want to show you more the 2D barcode because I've been playing with those last couple days and they really are amazing. You can fit a lot more information in a smaller image with the 2D barcodes. For those of you who are not familiar with what a 2D barcode is, I'll show you momentarily. Uh, you've probably seen them already uh, on certain products and in different places. Now to encode to a 2D barcode, I'm gonna use a program called QR Encode. Uh, and QR is uh, basically the uh, format or the encoding of the 2D barcode that we're going to uh, be looking at. Uh, and that program should be in your repositories. Once again, check your package manager. Um, and once you have that installed, this is how it works. Basically, you type QR encode, and then in quotations, uh, we can type what we want it to say. So I can say, this is my first 2D barcode. Close the quotations. And then we need to send output file. So we'll say uh, dash O for output. And then it's uh, by default saves things as PNGs. So we'll just say 2D bar dot PNG. Now, if I display that file out using display or whatever image uh, viewer you'd like, you can see we have a little uh, 2D barcode here. And so if you've seen these on things before, this is a 2D barcode. Once again, there are different encodings for 2D barcodes. This is a QR. Uh, encoding, I believe, is what it's called, hence QR encode. Um, now, you can change the image size, I believe, in options, but also you can see this is rather small, which is fine, um, but more information put in there, the larger it gets. But still, 
overall, you can fit a lot more information in one of these than you can a standard, uh, I guess, 1D barcode. I don't know if that's the proper term, um, but the standard line barcodes. So um, let's go ahead and do another one. Once again, uh, QR encode, and then we'll say um, HTTP forward slash forward slash filmsbychris.com and we'll say output will be link png and we'll display link.png and there's the barcode for that let's do something a little bit longer though we'll say um, I love Linux I think open source is a great thing I believe the more you give the more you get and the G and you is cool too and I just overrid my last one because uh, I, I forgot to change the output file so it uh, saved it as uh, display uh, we'll link PNG we'll hit enter there and you can see this one's a little bit larger but you can see we fit a lot of information into a very small barcode here so that is generating barcodes both 2d and a standard line barcode and um, once again these both these programs have more features than that more options I should say but those are the basic functions also um, I'll be having a tutorial my next tutorial will be on um, basically you reading those barcodes both the line barcodes and the 2d barcodes but for now play with those go ahead and generate a bunch and then next time I'll show you how to decode them uh, I hope that you have a great day and please visit the links in the description